All right, job right now is to change out these bucket teeth. They're looking kind of small. So these are bolted on ones, which means obviously they're bolted on there and there. Side cutters are bolted on. That was cracked. Well, so that needs replaced or welded anyway. And those ones are bolted on there. Going off the recommendation of a guy who knows more than I do. He recommended I buy these, which are Cat J2 style. So they're well done ones. So we just, you can see, they're a good bit longer. They should work a lot better. So the plan is to cut these bolts or nuts and try and get these teeth off, and then weld these ones on in the same place. Obviously, the end one's going to be different. So I'm thinking. Take the tooth off and try and keep the try and keep that one like there. So I'm thinking that for this end one, we'll try and keep it in line with the edge of the bucket. So I might have to notch this edge. So let's get these all cut off and see what way the bucket looks. And a warn. Yes, look at this. Those are substantial looking teeth now. So the next step is we're going to get this uh, ground back, get some clean steel. And I'm thinking I might cut a plate to weld on here just to add a bit of bracing for that end tooth on both sides. We'll do the other side as well here. And then just a lot of welding. Underneath, you can see the extend back further. So I'll need to weld these on and then we'll have to fill these holes. Those ones there should be easy because they've got the carrier in the bottom. So yeah, let's get this ground back. We'll probably need to clean these up as well, get a bit of that paint off and then we can start welding.
those are pretty good yeah welding almost finished i was filling this last hole and the wire feed motor stopped working on the welder so we're just gonna have to call it quits there we've got the front welded not super proud of those ones but this should be okay these ones here turned out nice So on the welder, this is the motor that runs the wire through. Um, it's not spinning whenever you pull the trigger. Test it for power here. Should be 12 volt because that looks like a 12 volt motor. There's no capacitors on it. And those are fairly thick wires. No voltage, 12 volt, 24 volt AC or DC. Nothing coming from there. And that, those are those wires. Um, and this must be the speed, well it is, the wire speed board. Um, that's power in and there's 240 volt there. There isn't 12 volt on the outlet. So it's probably this transformer that's down. So I'm going to have to take that out and test it. Hopefully you can just replace or add another transformer somewhere and maybe solder it onto, solder it onto the board to get that to work. But for now, we're just going to call this finished and knock these teeth on. So I think the way these work is you fit them. Well, oh, I'll take this over here. You fit them like this, and then when you slide the tooth over, that holds it on, and then you just hammer the pin in from this side. Soon they're supposed to rattle. Yeah! I got some spares, so I'm going to keep these in the digger in case I break any of these. But I'm hoping I won't.
while this turned out pretty good. That was quite fun welding them on. Definitely a fine art doing welds that big. So I've done a lot of welding on things over the years, but nothing really as big as, or well, nothing really as big as, as putting teeth on a bucket. So we'll see how they lasted. But somebody else has been in here and those wells don't look that impressive and it didn't fall off yet. So hopefully mine will stay. And if these ever break off, I can, I can put new pins in, put the teeth back on. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed doing it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.